you guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good today's video is going to be how to make a perfect cv for teachers teaching in dubai i have already made three videos regarding teaching in dubai so if you are interested to watch i'll be giving the link in the description box below as well as on the i button please go and give it a watch don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel so having said that let's get into the video Okay so what is a CV exactly it's nothing but short written summary of a person's career education and qualifications it's a detailed document which highlights your professional and academic history there are so many things you need to keep in mind while making a CV of your own so here i am to guide you with writing a perfect CV step by step Okay so let's start with how many pages a CV should be when you make a CV there's lots of confusion Here is my CV and as you can see it's only 2 pages So these are the 2 pages of my CV okay next thing is always choose a perfect template and format for your cv as you can see here the one that i have used recently is reverse chronological format it's the most popular format in 2023 what does this reverse chronological format actually mean it basically describes your work experience in reverse chronological order which means describing your most recent job first and moving backward in the time for every subsequent position The main thing about this CV format is that it's useful for practically every job seeker. The reverse chronological format has a very simple structure. It's easy to skim and overall it's the most popular format around the globe as I have already said before. What are the things you can include in reverse chronological format? Let's see. Contact information, profile, experience, skill section, qualification section. certification section awards and achievements your personal details and last but not the least reference section now you know which template and format to use for your cv let's get into each in detail number 1 contact details this section includes passport size photograph of yours with the contact number your email id and your location number 2 profile This section includes a brief summary of your work experience. Let me give an example. So as you can see here, energetic and enthusiastic teacher over 5 years of experience in teaching science and math. Teaching is not only a profession for me but also a passion. I believe profession and passion makes a great combination which will enable me to make a significant difference at your institution. So this is what my profile looks like. you can also make your own profile your own sentences you can use and uh, it's your wish what you want to write in this category next thing is professional title which includes your name and your designation next most important section of cv is work experience let's see what to include in this section in this section you can give the name of institution that you have worked and the year you have worked under that you can give your job responsibilities you have done in that particular institution remember you have to include all the information all the things whatever you have done in that particular school or institution while writing your experience of different institutions what you can do is the recent one you can give first for example if you have worked in three schools one in 2023 one in 2021 and one in 19 so the first school experience you are going to include is obviously 2023 the recent one then comes 2021 and comes the 19 one next section is skill section in this section you can include three different sub sections for example technical skills soft skills hard skills etc for example i have included mograsis chat gpt gizmos ms office which includes word powerpoint teams outlook excel etc google meet and zoom so these are my uh, few technical skills next comes hard skills so in this section what you can include is classroom and behavior management individualized education plans student centered and differentiated instruction curriculum development and lesson planning in soft skills you can write research analysis inquiry curiosity communication teamwork problem solving and critical thinking 
creative and innovative, integrity, information literacy, etc. Let's go to our next section, which is education. So it's a simple section. Basically, it's your education history. Here, what you can do is you can make two different uh, sections. Like one side, you can write your name of institution where you have studied, and one side you can mention the year. You have to include only your masters if you have masters you can include masters be it and the bachelors you don't have to include high school or the previous education history next section is certifications here you can write your certifications whatever you have received in whichever category it is you might have received so many certificates for uh, different different categories out of that choose the best ones so it need not be the school related certifications it can be any certifications that you have achieved throughout your lifetime next section is personal details here you have to write your date of birth the languages that you speak you can also include one more section which is awards and achievements if you have received any awards or any achievements that you have mention those achievements and awards in this section last but not the least reference section in reference section, you can give a reference of two persons. You need to give their full name, their contact details. Contact details include their contact number and email ID. This is all about what to include in CV. Now let's move into some important things which you have to keep in mind when you are making a CV. First thing is font size and font style of your CV. Okay, font style and font size two different font styles and font sizes you can use in your CV. One is for your headings and one is for the detailed information. Make sure to make your headings bold and use a different font size and font style for that. You can also underline your headings like I have done. You can also make borders for your sections like the ones I have made. Let me show you. Regarding colors, don't use lots of colors in your CV. It doesn't make the CV look professional. So what you can do is you can use black throughout and if you want to highlight something, you can use colors for that purpose. Microsoft Word is the best app to make your CV. These are very small things, but it makes a great impact on your CV. Okay, so that's all about different things to keep in mind and the steps to make your own CV for teaching. I hope you have liked today's video. If you still have any doubts regarding this topic, you can comment down in the comment section below. I'll be free to answer you all. You can follow me on Instagram as well. I'll be giving the Instagram handle here. See you all in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.